Good morning, everybody. Uh, in this video, um, I'm going to introduce to you something called exceptions in C-sharp. Exception is a very important topic in programming, and it's used a lot in C-sharp, and it's used very, a lot, a lot in Java. So what we want to do is that we have a simple application. All this application does is that it, in, you enter the, uh, enter the miles driven, number of gallons that you filled in the gas, and your program calculate how many miles per gallon does your car drive. So it's a simple program, but we'll use it to explain what exceptions are for. So let's go ahead and double click on the mile per gallon. Basically, we take this divided by the number of gallons, we will get how many miles we driven per gallon. But to do that, Sometimes you might enter zero here, and that can cause problem. Or sometimes you enter invalid value here, and that can cause problem. So when we get a problem, we want to tra trap these problems. Okay, we want to catch these problems. So double click on this. Usually how we solve this, we just say define variables. We have couple double. What, double. Uh, we have gallons. And then we have miles, and then we have miles per gallon, okay? And I will make that zero. You used to say, try, uh, like double, try to parse, and then you put, um, what are you trying to parse? TXT, gallon, miles, dot, text, and then you say out, and then you put the value in the variable, which is miles. Okay? That's how we usually do it. But there is another way to do that, and we don't do it this way. There is another way that is called, you convert the text to a particular num number that you want, instead of doing all of this. So you say miles equal, messed up here, convert, to double and then you put the text field which is txt miles dot text okay so what does that do what does this do here what does this do it just say miles equal you convert you use this function called convert to you convert the text, whatever text that you have, you convert it to double. And then it will be stored, that, so this function will convert it to double, and then it will be stored in miles. Similar to this, here double try to parse, there is a difference here. This one does not give you an error even if you enter blanks or not numbers. But this function will give you an error. If you enter something that is invalid, it will give you an error. All right? So we do the same thing for the other one, right? clear and at the end we just say uh, gallons or mpeg mile per gallon mile per gallon equal to one equal miles divided by gallons at the end we display the result in that label that we have lbl miles per gallon so we say lbl miles per gallon dot text equal to what equal mpg to string we convert the number to string now let's go ahead and run it and see what happens if you enter values that are acceptable let's say if i drive 200 miles and then i put 20 gallons in my car and then I clicked on that it'll give me number of gallons miles per gallon is 10 miles right so that's okay it's working but watch what happens if I enter zero here and I clicked on that I got infinity first of all the user wouldn't know what is an infinity right second of all if I type in something other than number and I click on MPG, you get what? 
you get you get an exception you got an error now if you give this to the user and they see this so I don't know what this means right but we need to give him a message saying that there is a problem with what you entered so it says what I got format exception was unhandled that is the error that I got so I know that I got some sort of an exception what's the name of that exception format exception and then here's the description make sure that the method argument blah 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 okay it means that you're trying to convert something to a number and that that thing that you're trying to convert is not a number that's what that we got that error message all right so to get out of this the only way to get out of this is that you stop your program yeah so the idea is how do we prevent this from happening type where are the possible errors where are the possible errors when mum can you see the error when I convert this is possible error and when when I do the calculation that's a possible error so I can get an error on all of these can I get an error here no because this is just taking some value and putting it in another value so the possible errors are here so what do I have to do is that I have to say wait a minute I can I might get an error here so I want to handle that error and how do I handle that error I use the try and catch phrase so what do you do you say try and then you open a bracket and close bracket so what happens now it says I am trying to do all of this potentially there is an error somewhere in here I might get an error you got the idea then what do you do you say if there is an error I want to catch it so I say catch and then here you have to say what am I trying to catch remember when I we saw a minute ago we say format exception that was the error right so if I type in format format exception do you see it here is the exception that I was looking for yeah so you can use if you know what the exception you're looking for you can just put that exception name if you don't know what the exception name that you're looking for you can just put a general exception any error that happens I can catch it for example if I go in here and remove this and just say catch exception now any error that happens I will catch it whether it's divided by zero whether it is connecting to a database connecting to a server whatever it is I can catch that error and I need to give it a variable name or an object name we usually call ex so it says if you have an error I will catch it now okay so anything that happens here if there is an error in any of those something will happen here okay it will go to this exception after we done we put this message right lblg.txt miles per gallons equal or miles per gallon to string okay we'll get back to this in a minute but let's see we need to just put miles in here so it looks like it is that way so we'll say lbl.txt miles per gallon to string plus miles so we'll get the word miles after it all right let's go ahead and run it and see what happens if I don't enter anything what do you expect me to happen we got zero mile but I don't get the error right I don't get the error anymore okay let's put some values here and then I'll put zero here infinity miles so that the divide by zero is not a problem here okay but if I type in this nothing happened I got zero miles because the calculation did not happen 